Williams was established in 1793 with funds bequeathed by Colonel Ephraim Williams on one condition, that the surrounding town be named after him. Williams students and alumni often refer to themselves as Eves. When the college first opened its doors, West was the sole building that housed all 20 students, classrooms, and administrative offices. Today, West serves as a dorm for upperclassmen. Williams has a long-standing rivalry with Amherst College, another small liberal arts college located nearby. The rivalry began when Zephaniah Swift Moore, the second president of Williams, defected to establish Amherst in 1821. Today, the rivalry lives on through various sporting events, namely homecoming, and t-shirts from each college that poke fun at each other. Moore's defection to Amherst sparked something else, too. When Moore announced his resignation, half the student body went with him. In 1821, with enrollment at an all-time low, 23% of the college's alumni gathered to form a society dedicated to the support, protection, and improvement of Williams College. This was the first society of alumni at Williams and in the world. Today, Williams continues to have an active and involved alumni community. Fraternities were established at Williams in 1833. However, a report released in the early 60s detailed problems in the fraternity system and led to them being abolished shortly thereafter. Eventually, 13 fraternities transferred their houses to the college. Today, these houses have been converted to various academic facilities or dorms, some of which are coveted upperclassmen housing. The college's official color is purple. In the summer of 1865, Jenny Jerome and her cousin realized that the Williams baseball team was about to play Harvard in the final game without any school colors. The women quickly purchased royal purple ribbon and made small rosettes to pin on each member of the team. They proclaimed, let this royal purple be the Williams color and may it bring you the victory over Harvard. Williams won the game. Jenny later became Lady Randolph Spencer Churchill, mother of Winston Churchill. Williams is also known for its quirky mascot, the Purple Cow. She's affectionately known as Ophelia. In 1907, the student body voted on a mascot name for the college's sports teams, and Purple Cows was selected. A popular student humor magazine called The Purple Cow probably influenced the vote. Up until 1969, Williams was an all-male school. The Society of Alumni had actually appointed a committee to see about admitting women in 1871, but the committee's majority opinion advised leaving this for another generation to consider. Nearly a hundred years later, Williams began to admit women as transfer students for the fall of 1970. Mark Hopkins was Williams' fourth and longest serving president. President James A. Garfield, a graduate of Williams, is widely attributed with defining an ideal college as Mark Hopkins on one end of a log and a student on the other. At Williams, this ideal continues in the 7 to 1 student-faculty ratio and in the form of tutorials. Tutorials are intimate learning environments where two students meet with one professor over the course of a semester. In the fall, you'll hear about Mountain Day. This tradition has evolved to be a break from classes that encourages students to enjoy the outdoors. Mountain Day is a Friday in October when the college president spontaneously cancels classes and an all-campus picnic is held. Students take hikes and celebrate with apple cider and songs from the college's many acapella groups. Williams has grown over the years and the campus now includes 450 acres with nearly 3,000 outlying acres that include Hopkins Memorial Forest.